Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how I made this building destruction effect in my latest Instagram Reels, some of you asked me and here is the basic video of how I did it. To make this effect, you will need some free footage that I'm going to use, check this video's description to download these footage for free. Now first of all let's click on track camera. As the analyzing is done, I will select some points in the background. Because I want the building destruction effect to be right there, in your case you can select any other points where you want your effect to be. Let's select some points now and right click on them, make sure to select set ground plane and origin, then right click again and select create solid and camera. Once we have a tracked solid there, we can drag and drop building footage here. All these footage are downloaded from Production Crate website, I will leave in a description an official download links and a Google Drive links as well, because some of you can't download free footage from Production Crate website. If some of you are having issues, you can use Google Drive links to get these footage for free. Once you have dropped it, make sure to enable 3D on a building layer. Now press S on your keyboard and make sure to scale it a bit, then correct X, Y, and Z rotations and also position it right where you have created your tracking camera. Let's quickly check it. Nice, it's tracked perfectly and now we can add a missile effect that will hit that building and create an explosion effect. Enable 3D on that layer as well, then scale it and then we should reposition it and correct the timing of the missile and a building destruction effect. To sync the timing, scroll to the moment where the building starts to explode and then move the missile layer to the left a bit until it's right on that building. In case if your missile goes behind that building like in my case, simply move Z position closer to the camera to make it hit from the front. Correct rotations, positions, and timing until it looks perfectly. In my case timing is not perfect, let's move missile layer to the left a bit more. Let's check it again. Now that looks better to me. Let's add another footage, scroll to the moment where the missile is right on that building and drop an explosion effect. Enable 3D on it as well and then scale it and position it right where the missile hits the building. Now correct the timing, explosion should start after the missile hits. Nice, I like it. You can duplicate it and make more explosions or even add more other explosion effects. And finally let's add the last explosion footage that I have used in my reels. Enable 3D on it as well, then scale it and simply reposition it. I will keep that explosion behind the building. Now let's correct the timing. It's fine in my case, but let's duplicate it and move it on another side as well, but this explosion I want to be in front of the building, so let's move Z position closer to the camera. Then let's change timing of it and maybe make it a bit smaller or bigger. Let's check it. Nice, but let's correct the timing and positions a bit more. That's better now, let's move everything in the background now and make everything behind these cars. Make sure to duplicate your main clip and move it above all layers. I will rename it to foreground and then make sure to remove 3D camera tracker on that layer, now grab a roto brush tool and make sure to scroll to the beginning of foreground layer and double click on it. Since we need everything to be behind the cars, we can rotoscope the sky only and then invert the selection. On a left screen you can control the changes and let me invert the selection. And that's it, we have the building and explosions all behind the cars. But make sure your selection is clear and fine, if there is anything have to be fixed, make sure to fix it like in my case for example. And once everything is cool, you can click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, close that rotoscoping screen and go back to your main composition. Nice, I'm happy with the effects, but. Let's add some shakes now. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. That looks better. Finally make sure to toggle of track solid layer and you are ready to go. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.